I'll open it up. Just just go back and forth. Who, who's ever got it? Yep. Jim. <laughs> Jim, we talked to you in the locker room after the Peach Bowl, and, and there was a, a sense of frustration or disappointment in your voice with the way that last season ended and the way that the defense, I think you said, almost let the offense down. To, to go out and have a performance like this, in this big of a spot, in this game, with your defense and win it with defense, what does that mean to you to see this group kind of start to come full circle? You know, first you're happy for the players, you know, and happy for our head coach and all the fans, um, and that they now have confidence you know, that they can win the game on defense. You know, we, uh, I don't look at stats, but I guess Penn State had a pretty good defense, you know. So we talked to them before the game about, hey, you're not just playing Penn State's offense, you're playing Penn State's defense. You know, if they make one play, we got to make two. If they make two, we got to make three. So it's a sense of maturity, uh, leadership. Um, yeah, maybe a little chip on your shoulder. You know, and uh, we've done a lot of work to have everyone have faith in us, for sure. Over to the left, Cameron Teague Robinson, The Athletic. Jim, you mentioned on Tuesday how you had to get Penn State off schedule because they just, they just move the ball so methodically. One of 16 on third down. What does that say about where this defense is right now than maybe where, where it was coming into the year? You know, they, um, they know the scheme, you know, and uh, – when I make adjustments during the week and the things you talked about that we had to get the stops, we had to get them off schedule and we make uh, little adjustments in the scheme, they pick up on it, you know, and that's a big deal because winning those downs in a game like that is huge and that only comes with preparation and with, and with guys who are knowledgeable about the scheme. Over here to the right, Dylan Davis, Delaware Gazette. Jermaine was thrust into a huge spot today. Um, how do you think he played and uh, handled that position? Yeah, like I said, the kids got moxie. You know, I, I don't think he knew how big a moment it was, and that's not a bad. That's not a bad thing. You know, he just went out and played, made some tackles. You know, didn't flinch. You know, at the moment of truth, and um, yeah, really, really proud of him. He's 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 a good player. Uh, Nathan Barrett, Cleveland.com, over to the left. When we were all talking about how you had sort of backed off the blitzes a couple weeks ago, Ryan said something along the lines of, well, I know he's got more dialed up. And I was thinking of that when Jordan broke through and got that third down TFO. Kind of just um, how talk about that play maybe and how it just fit into what you were trying to accomplish in this game. Yeah, that, that um, again, you, you, go, you go back to knowledge of the scheme, you know, with a guy like Jordan who plays both positions and uh, – you know, that was really a, a blitz based off of the formation. You know, they, they started huddling a lot, you know, not showing us the formation, um, you know, where I can usually make uh, the call based on the formation. They started huddling, and uh, Jordan had to recognize the formation. He had to recognize the formation, see it, and go, you know. So that uh, really shows a lot of progress with the defense at whole. And Jordan is just, you know, playing both positions and doing a great job. Over to the right, Jeremy Jeremy Birmingham, uh, the podcast, Rivals. Hey, Jim, uh, last couple weeks have been up and down for the linebacker group. Today, Tommy leads the team in tackles, Seal right there, Cody plays a big role. How important was it for you to see those guys be productive today, knowing that they were going to be tested in the short passing game, the running game, etc.? Yeah, it was, you know, that intermediate passing game combined with a you know really strong running attack. We knew that they were going to be um, a real focus in terms of making plays. I... I've always had faith in them, and, um, you know, they're doing the right things. And then it's just, you know, it's that competitive excellence. It's showing up when we need them the most, and, and those guys are veterans, and they showed that we can count on them. Uh, over to the left, Bill Rabinowitz, Columbus Dispatch. Jim, Ryan talked about how he could just watch the demeanor of the defensive players, and they looked so confident and just so excited to be out there. Um, I, do you get that sense? And then what's it like for you to kind of – from where you are to, to call the plays knowing that the defense feels the way that they do? Yeah, I mean, uh, confidence and uh, momentum. It's such a huge part, attitude about playing defense. I mean, probably where I'm most proud of them is uh, what do we, we got the stop in, in their end and then we turned it over on the, on the punt return and we came right back out and stopped them, stopped them again. You know, I think that's a, that shows a lot of confidence and a, and a lot of want to, hey, okay, that's fine. Put us, you know, you don't flinch in that situation because that's easy to, you know, hang your head 
and uh, they went out there and got the stop. So I think that sequence right there kind of shows where we're at right now. Adam Rittenberg, ESPN. Yeah, Jim, your defensive linemen before the year were talking openly about being the best group in the country and a lot of high hopes on them. How do you feel they played today and where are they as a group right now? You know, there's a lot of depth there. There's a lot of guys that play. Um, you know, they've really been solid all year. Guys inside are making tackles. You know, we've been getting pressure. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that uh, maybe people look at stats only, but I could see the film. You know, I knew we have a really good group, and, and they showed up. Over to the left, uh, Dan Hope, 11 Warriors. Just got yeah, time I mean, for a few more for Coach. What do you think is just the biggest thing that's clicked this year, that's allowed this defense to take this step and really play it as an elite level so far this year? You got uh, great leadership, you know. You got guys who want to, uh, I don't know, hold up our end, guys who want to be counted on. And uh, then you throw that in with an extra year, knowledge of the scheme. You know, that knowledge of the scheme is really a big deal. Being able to see, you know, the forest through the trees, understanding, being able to handle, you know, um, adjustments during the week, you know, where, you know, maybe in the past you're hesitant to put new things in because guys don't quite understand them. And they pick things up and they study um, and they take a lot of pride. Uh, over to the left here, Marcus Hartman, Dayton Daily News. I think early they were averaging eight yards a carry. They had a couple of explosive runs and then sort of like looked like you turned the spigot on them. And what, what was the difference there? Uh, the explosive runs were just bad calls by me. And, uh, you know, so I started making better calls. <laughs> yeah. Over to the right here, Jeff Gilbert, Press Pros. Uh, what types of things did you, were you concerned that Penn State might be able to be successful at? And how, what, what, how did you stop those? What are the things you felt like? Yeah, certainly the running game, you know, um, they were a team that could drive the ball. And the intermediate passing game. You know, uh, very effective. So, you know, we wanted to get them in situations where they had to throw the ball down the field um, and give our rush a, a chance to get there. We mixed things up somewhat in the rush. Um, we did the right things early, early in the series, you know, to get them in situations where we could force them to try to throw the ball down the field. Okay, Coach, thank you very much.